Okay, this video is to help you make up for the quiz we did on the 13th or the 14th. Make sure you write down the five secret words to show me that you listen. But here we go. Domain measured left to right on this one where it's going through this x-axis. So I'm going from negative 7 all the way over here to positive infinity. And since I'm going from left to right, I write that first bracket as rounded because that negative 7 is open. And because that arrow is going to the right, that's why this is positive infinity, not negative. If you put negative there, you would be wrong because that is going left to right. If I do it with set notation, I put X in the middle. The inequalities always overlap this way. The two numbers go on either side, the negative 7 on the left, the infinity on the right. And then I let the brackets tell me, since this is rounded, I will not put that under there. The only way I would have a little equal line under there is if this dot was filled in and this was square, then I would have that. But remember, the way this graph is, it is not filled in. It was empty, so you leave that blank. First word is water. Water. Thanks for listening. All right, so I'm going to delete this. All right, when I do range, I'm going from bottom to top. And since this arrow is going down, there is no bottom to my range. So I write this as rounded negative infinity. And then that goes all the way up here to that 9. And since that 9 is not open, I write that square. And then I write that with a Y in the middle. My inequality is always this direction. My 9 here, my negative infinity over here, and now let my symbols tell me whether those little inequality symbols have that little line under there or not. Because this one is rounded, do not put the line under there. Never do you have a square bracket around infinity. This square bracket, though, means this one is going to have the little equal line under there. All numbers more than negative infinity, but less than or equal to nine. Second word is puppy, puppy. Increasing is this interval right here. And again, I look at this left boundary from negative seven to this negative one. That's where it's starting to increase. That's where it ends. Since negative seven is open, all right, that rounded, and then it's hitting that negative one. And since that's not open up there, I write that square and then intervals back to X. Inequalities always overlap this direction. Negative seven on this side, negative one on this side. And then I put the little equal line because it has to be less than or equal to negative one, but more than negative seven. Third word is cat, cat. All right, decreasing is this one right here going down from negative one to positive infinity. Another problem that's based on left to right. Anything going left to right is positive infinity left to right. So I start at that negative one and I do that square because there's nothing open there to positive infinity rounded. And then I write that as X, again, inequalities overlapping, the negative one here, the infinity here, and make sure my equal line goes right there between the negative one and the X. All right, last two. This is me giving you X to find the Y number. Find negative one on the X axis, and then go from there up or down, up or down. So again, find that negative one on the x-axis right here. And then with your pencil on that spot, go either up or down until you hit the data. And when you hit the data, look to the right. That is the y number. When x is negative one, the y number is nine. The next one 
has you do the opposite where I give you the Y number instead because that one is on the outside. So you would be mistaken if you started right here because that one is not on the inside. So I do not start at one on the X axis. I go to one on the Y axis. And then for these guys, you go left or right when you hit that left or right until you hit that line. So go to one on the Y axis. Don't go up or down, don't do that. That's for the X one. Go left or right. And when I hit that line, look straight down. That's where I got this X equals seven answer. It has to be seven. The only answer that would work if this was seven inside there. All right, second to the last word is blue. Blue. I need you to make sure you check all these answers and then write down these five words. The last word is wave, wave. Good luck. Talk to you later.